in an astonishing turn of events that seems to spring straight from the pages of an intense political drama, the MK party, led by the charismatic yet controversial former president Jacob Zuma, has issued a powerful cease and desist later to the South African Broadcasting Corporation, popularly called the SABC. The later demands that the national broadcaster immediately stop referring to the current government, which is a coalition negotiated by the ANC, DA, IFP, and seven other political parties as a government of national, provincial, or local unity. In a statement filled with fiery rhetoric and legal threats, the MK party proclaimed, and I quote, this is not a government of national unity. It is a grand coalition of unprecedented proportions, cobbled together in a desperate bid to cling to power. The SABC's misrepresentation is a deliberate attempt to mislead the public and distort the truth. Delivered with the urgency and drama akin to a spy thriller, the later warns of severe consequences if the SABC does not comply. Failure to heed this demand will result in immediate legal action, the statement asserts, and we will not rest until justice is served. Inside sources describe a scene of barely controlled chaos at the SABC headquarters. Executives are reportedly locked in frantic meetings, legal teams are working tirelessly around the clock, and newsroom staff are caught in a whirlwind of speculation and uncertainty. Political analysts are already calling this move one of the boldest legal maneuvers in recent South African history. It is classic Zuma, one analyst remarked. He's turning the legal system into a battlefield with the SABC as his latest adversary. Meanwhile, the ANC, DAIFP and other coalition partners have remained conspicuously silent amidst the upheaval. The nation watches intensely to see whether the SABC will acquiesce to the MK party's demands or face the full force of a legal confrontation that promises to be a grand as the coalition it seeks to redefine. Stay tuned as this electrifying saga continues to unfold, offering twists and turns that will keep South Africa on the edge of its seat. In the comment section and without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to go on to the comment section and tell me what you think, how you feel, and the way you perceive everything being reviewed in today's video. It's been so much to deal with in South Africa right now, and I personally feel so bad. I'm going to be reading you all in the comment sections. Do well to take good care of yourselves, and see you all in our subsequent uploads too, please.